DIY golf car garage. Today we're going to be working on a PowerWise charger. I've gotten many requests on how to check different parts. So today we're going to work on this. Let me go ahead and take this cover off and we'll get started on it. Now that I've got the cover off, first the handle came off and then the outside shell. The first thing we want to check on this car well, on this charger, if it's not working, it's to verify that we have 110 volts coming in from the wall socket. Make sure that we didn't trip a breaker. So, turn our multimeter to the V with a little squiggly line on it. Use our two prongs, put it in the wall socket and verify that we have a minimum of 110 volts. Next, we want to check the AC cord. To do that, we'll turn our switch here to the little sound, speaker looking sound waves coming out. That's for continuity. It'll actually make a sound when we have continuity. Now what we're going to do is check these ends from the plug-in that run all through this cable that comes inside. What we we'll do is we check the first side here. Positive lead. Going to the white wire on the board. Now that tells us the cable is good. The other side is the black wire coming in that's going over to the relay. Good. Now just for safety sake, let's check our ground. It's the green wire that comes in. Fantastic. Our AC circuit coming into this charger is good. Now let's check the DC side. Now for the DC side, we want to check our continuity between the pins on the inside of the handle and where they come onto the inside of the charger. First, what we'll do is verify the multimeter is working. Fantastic. Now we'll check the positive circuit, which is the pin coming out, which is next to the flat edge. Now we know that wire is good. Now the other pin, that is good also. Now inside the negative side, we've got a grounding bar. And on the inside, we'll verify that it's working. Fantastic. We can also check that by running continuity between it and the little red wire. That shows us that the handle to the inside of the charger is good. Now let's check the fuse. Now checking the fuse, you'll notice there's a little 50 amp fuse here that the positive lead comes in too. While our meter's still on continuity, we'll check from one side to the other side. We now know this fuse is good. Now, let's check our heat sink and diode board. Now while we're still on the continuity setting of our multimeter, the diodes here, there's two of them, located on the heat sink board. What we want to do is verify that there's not continuity here. Fantastic. That means these two diodes on this heat sink board are good. If they had been bad, this board is no longer available and we would have had the new heat sink or diode mounted to the board here and run our wires to this. But since we know these are good, fantastic. Now let's look at the board itself. Now we're on the side where the board is. Left, there could only be two possible other things being wrong with this car other than this board, which is 99% of the time the problem. That would be the capacitor, which almost never goes bad, or the transformer. If unless it's dropped from a great height and hit the floor hard, it's probably okay. But if you wanted to check your transformer while your multimeter is still on continuity, check for the windings, which is the cables on the inside to the grounding of the casing, no sound for continuity? Fantastic. That means our transformer is good. If you wanted to check your capacitor, take your multimeter, turn it to the little horseshoe which checks ohms, go across, you should read between 1.3 and 1.7. We're reading 1.5, 1.6 here. Fantastic. Our capacitor is good. That means only our charger board is left. Now the charger board 
you've got a relay mounted on it. This relay cannot come off. It's mounted to the board itself, and 90% of the time, that's the problem. If you needed to verify that the board is bad, you could plug in your 110 outlet, your AC, then plug in your DC cord. Then very carefully with a screwdriver, you can actually touch both the terminals that are coming in to the relay. You could touch them together, the transformer should start humming and the car will start to charge. Now, if you need to charge your car for a short period of time, you can actually disconnect the two wires and build yourself a jumper lead with two male connectors. Plug them in. Like this and charge your car. You can do it for once or twice, but don't do it too often because you will completely burn up the board. So, at this point in time on this charger, I do know this board is bad. So here, we'll stop our testing because we have already determined by checking everything on this charger, everything is good except the board. So, let's get this board changed out. We're done. Well, I hope today's episode on how to test and repair a charger board and the whole charger was helpful to you. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe. And once again, thank you for visiting us here at DIY Golf Car Garage.